Okay, so it was the T20. Just uh, had to get an extension to get in there. But yeah, it's T20. Okay, so I was trying to pry it out, the side panel here. But finally, I just, just reached it in here and just started pulling. Pa, 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 pa. Stuff when the clips were flying. But anyway, see these clips right here? Luckily, it's not too old, so it's not too brittle. But you just put it back, put the clip back in. And now I have access. So. I mean, I could disconnect this right here. That's a subwoofer, but I'm gonna leave it for now because I don't think I need it. Supposedly these right here, peel these out and that's where access is for the hinge bolts. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm at on this. Okay, so I pried off this one. That's access to the top hinge and then I gotta pry this bottom one. And with that, I just pr pry the wires out here. Just kind of reroute it out of the way. And then let's see if I can pry this out here. If not, I'll put the camera down. You know what's gonna happen. Okay, so yeah, right in this little hole, I've managed to pry this up. Just kind of work the edges. Have this in here and just kind of and now I have access to that one. That's where we're at. I'm gonna pry these two off and I'm gonna do the rest. Plug these, unplug these. Okay, so disconnected the wires. Hope I didn't break this one. <laughs> that was uh, Sounded like I broke something, but I don't know. It'll plug back in. Anyway, run the wire over here, get out of the way, and I guess that completes step two and three. It says temporarily reattach the check rod for what? Oh, okay. Locate the camera. So I gotta mess with the camera now and figure this out. But anyway, step three. And then I can start taking out this spare tire carrier. Pull the harness. Alrighty. Okay, so it wants me to temporarily reattach the check rod. I don't know why. Move the wires. Anyway, I didn't reattach that. I don't know what that's about. Basically, the, not this one, not this one here, but the other two small ones that pushed out a little rubber piece Something like that work this way out Let's see if I could do this eh. okay that's one and two all right so I don't know anything about reattaching it but maybe I'm doing something wrong whatever I didn't need to Okay, so I took the, uh, the bolts out. How many is that? Eight. Eight bolts out. Took that off. Now I'm putting tape. Not to hold it up, but as a reference point. Just so, so, so I'll know where to line it up after I go to put it back in. Here we go. Okay, so the next step is uh, remove these six bolts. Three in there. Uh, of course, put a sharpie. That's what they said to do. Use a sharpie, but heck, just the paint you can tell. Anyway, six bolts. Have a friend help you remove it. You remember Jose? <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And the instructions tell you to take off the door first, but I've actually seen in other videos where they take the whole thing off and work uh, work on it out of the off the off the jeep so anyway there you go all right so this removed the yeah uh, the hinges now it's time to uh, do the actual 
piece of foam and all that other stuff. Next step is we flip it over. Okay, so so the next step is we're installing these. Let's go with uh, Maddie, man. Eight, eight of those. Put the little clips in there. Well, not clips, they're the retainers. A little, little retainers. Next. We get rid of uh, some of the Death Valley uh, sand off of this. Turn it up. While we're at it. Alcohol sprayer. The alcohol I got from 99 cent store. Sprayer, I don't know. I think also from 99 cent store. So then put these cover plates on. And the foam is going to fit on there like that. Okay, so we decided we're not cutting nothing. We're just gonna kind of even it out, and just run with it. This one already comes with a factory, even though the instruction says to install it. It's already got foam, so. But I guess uh, we're, we're supposed to run double foam, so that's what I'm gonna do. That. I'm gonna put this onto the cover plate. Get the four bolts. Button head. Lock washers. And a flat washer, so now we we'll just put it on. Put We're gonna it put it on. Snug it up, it says don't torque it. Snug it up, don't torque, because you still need to do a final uh, torque and actually uh, alignment. So, here we go. Okay, somewhere in the instructions, it doesn't tell you anything about this, about these rubber pieces, but we yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and take them off and then. Uh, Re reinstall them on the uh, carrier okay so the right one stays we're, we're gonna leave the left one we gotta install the right one onto the, onto the tire carrier so carefully something install like something like that there you go there you go Kind of line up these holes. Hey, did we uh, do the adhesive on these bottom ones? I don't know that we did. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think so. All right, well, you get the idea. Okay, there were no adhesives. Get this in. Four bolts. Hex. What are those? Eights or something? Sixes? Okay, so meantime, put these on, but not too tight. Now we're gonna. I, the instruction doesn't say to do this, but put the little lock washer with a regular flat washer. It doesn't say to do it right now, it says later, but I don't know. I kind of feel like while we're transporting it over there, it'd be better to have these bolts are at least, even if it's ultra loose, at least it's kind of supporting it.
Hold on, I'm not pulling the right washer. I believe so. The flat washer says 24 millimeters. Yeah, that's definitely. Anyway, you get the idea. All eight of those, just put them in loosely. Okay, so all these button, all these bolts are just set in. They're not tight at all, but they're kind of in there. So the next step is uh, Jose is going to lift it, put it in while we install these and get the socket ready. So working it what is this I read this it's a 13 millimeter so that's that's gonna be next okay so we got it in started a little bit um, in order to make the adjustment see how I, I accidentally bent that right there no good so um, put a little two by four block right in here and a pry bar kind of protect it and then just adjust as needed let's see how this is okay it's actually a little pretty good anyway that's that's how we're making our adjustments now we're gonna go ahead and close the door you gotta tighten those no 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 close the door you gotta tighten those all right so I w we went ahead and closed the door and we tightened up these six bolts here and um, body lines came out okay, but the tape is a little bit off. I don't know. Subjective, right? And then we put these, uh, these uh, eight bolts here and these four button head bolts. Now for the moment of truth. I don't know. It seems to open okay. And it closes. So we're good. All right. A little spray adhesive. This is closed back up. Okay. Now I'm putting on the tire carrier. Back on. Something like that. Is that what the instructions say? It's gonna be close. Smaller washers. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the uh, interior. And while he does that, okay. So install this uh, bolt. Install the whole thing. Had to just kind of straighten it out. Pop this back up. Just shove it back in. Kind of beat on it a little bit. Get that that one screw back in, and then now put this in. Now it's time to do the cover. So that cover goes back on. Let's just take a look. There we go. That's it. And of course route the harness back and trying to rethink this thing have to uh the harness i don't know do you think we can shove it further down no we're gonna have to cut the shrink wrap though no we're gonna have to cut the shrink wrap i don't have any more shrink wrap <laughs> we can't get any uh any more you know we can look from the bottom and you can see it it's just... Unless you might gain something if you pull it out through here instead of coming up, water down. Not mm -hmm. No. Good choice. Oh, but wait a minute. We don't need to cut all the shrink wrap off, do we? You still have to slide this down about an inch. About an inch? As long as we could maybe cut an inch off of the, the shrink wrap. Just slice it right in here. And then. Uh, Kind of slide this down maybe that that'll make it work who knows we'll figure it out all right so jose is splitting the, the shrink wrap a little bit so we can shove it in about an inch uh went ahead and just on this 
just line up the thing back and then go ahead and start to put these back in. Here. Alright, so Jose cut a little piece of uh, this shrink wrap, kind of slid the wire out some more, and then shoved the, the grommet back through. Now he's hooking it back up. That's the camera and the rear light, that rear brake light, third brake light. That's it. Somewhere in there. Oh, yeah. Big one on the bottom. Like that. Now we'll put the cover back on. Call it good. Guess who showed up just when the work is all done? <laughs> yeah, I know. At the uh, for now, yeah, we don't need the tape anymore. These are when I when I finally go wheeling. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my 33s for daily driving, and then when it's time to go wheeling, I'll uh, go ahead and install this. And I guess you have to take this off the the light and put it on the uh, on the top part of this, this bracket here. But for now, I'm just going to run it whenever we go wheeling again. That's, uh, that's when I'll continue this, this uh, installation. I haven't finished it all up while you started. No, not yet. But yeah, anyway. Alrighty. I'm going to call it good for now. Talk to you later. Alright, so. Put the cover back on. It looks kind of nice. Tiger. Matches the orange. When are we gonna get it? Yeah. Alrighty. Beard 30 time.